mark my words, AI is far more dangerous than nukes. I think the danger of AI is much greater than the, the, the danger of nuclear warheads by a lot. Cause significant. We, the field, the technology, the industry, cause significant harm to the world. If this technology goes wrong, it can go quite wrong. Uh, and we want to be vocal about Let's that. Let's look at AI because specifically the risk that could lead to the extinction of humans. Many top experts have signed a statement warning of the risks of artificial intelligence and this is what that wording says. Well, mitigating the risk of extinction... Should take something like AI safety yeah. as a core consideration right, you know, at the design time. The chat GPT moment has, I think, captured people's yeah. imagination. Microsoft and Google have recently made big investments in two of the most valuable companies in artificial intelligence. OpenAI, which developed Chat, has received a staggering investment of US $10 billion from Microsoft, while Google has invested US $300 million in Anthropic. The company's financial support for AI has pushed an ongoing rivalry into the public spotlight. Google's struggle for dominance with Microsoft is increasingly at the forefront of discussion. In March, two Google employees, whose jobs are to review the company's artificial intelligence products, tried to stop Google from launching an AI chatbot. They believed it generated inaccurate and dangerous statements. Ten months earlier, similar concerns were raised at Microsoft by ethicists and other employees. They wrote in several documents that the AI technology behind a planned chatbot could flood Facebook groups with disinformation, degrade critical thinking and erode the factual foundation of modern society. The companies released their chatbots anyway. Microsoft was first, with a splashy event in February to reveal an AI chatbot woven into its Bing search engine. Google followed about six weeks later with its own chatbot, Bard. The aggressive moves by the normally risk-averse companies were driven by a race to control what could be the tech industry's next big thing generative AI. The powerful new technology that fuels those chatbots. That competition took on a frantic tone in November when OpenAI, a San Francisco startup working with Microsoft, released ChatGPT, a chatbot that has captured the public imagination and now has an estimated 100 million monthly users. The surprising success of ChatGPT has led to a willingness of Microsoft and Google to take greater risks with their ethical guidelines set up over the years to ensure their technology does not cause societal problems, according to 15 current and former employees, and internal documents from the companies. The urgency to build with the new AI was crystallized in an internal email sent last month by Sam Schillis, a technology executive at Microsoft. He wrote in the email, which was viewed by the New York Times, that it was an absolutely fatal error in this moment to worry about things that can be fixed later. When the tech industry is suddenly shifting toward a new kind of technology, the first company to introduce a product is the long-term winner just because they got started first, he wrote. Google released BART after years of internal dissent over whether generative AI's benefits outweighed the risks. It announced Mina, a similar chatbot, in 2020. But that system was deemed too risky to release, three people with knowledge of the process said. Those concerns were reported earlier by the Wall Street Journal. Later in 2020, Google blocked its top ethical AI researchers, Tim Jebru and Margaret Mitchell, from publishing a paper warning that so-called large language models used in the new AI systems, which are trained to recognize patterns from vast amounts of data, could spew abusive or discriminatory language. The researchers were pushed out after Drive. Debru criticized the company's diversity efforts and Drive. Mitchell was accused of violating its code of conduct. Dr. El Mamdi, a part-time employee and university professor, used mathematical theorems to warn that the biggest AI models are more vulnerable to cybersecurity attacks and present unusual privacy risks because they've probably had access to private data stored in various locations around the internet. Though an executive presentation later warned of similar AI privacy violations, Google reviewers asked Dr. El Mamdi for substantial changes. He refused and released the paper through E. coli Polytechnique. He resigned from Google this year, citing in part research censorship. He said modern AI's risks highly exceeded the benefits. It's premature deployment, he added. 
Satya Nadella, Microsoft's chief executive, made a bet on generative AI in 2019 when Microsoft invested $1 billion in OpenAI. After deciding the technology was ready over the summer, Mr. Nadella pushed every Microsoft product team to adopt AI. Microsoft had policies developed by its Office of Responsible AI, a team run by Ms. Prampton but the guidelines were not consistently enforced or followed, said current hand. Former employees. Despite having a transparency principle, ethics experts working on the chatbot were not given answers about what data OpenAI used to develop its systems, according to three people involved in the work. Some argued that integrating chatbots into a search engine was a particularly bad idea. Given how it sometimes served up untrue details, a person with direct knowledge of the conversation said. Ms. Crampton said experts across Microsoft worked on Bing and key people had access to the training data. The company worked to make the chatbot more accurate by linking it to Bing search. The world has already delved into the AI industry, which is changing the world. Drastically for good as it poses a greater danger than ever before. The danger of AI is far greater than nuclear war. The tech companies have no regard whatsoever for the world and humanity at large. They're only driven by their urgent hunger to make profit. Stay tuned for more on this in our next video.